What's up? It's Wes from MotionRC.com. Today we are out here with the Skynetic Dragonfly. Uh, super fun airplane. It's a beautiful Florida day and we're out here at the pond. So without further ado, let's fly this airplane for you. If you want to know how we have it set up, we will talk about that after this flight. Here we go. About half throttle. Let it get up on step into the wind and we're going to give it just a little bit of elevator trip or a little bit of elevator deflection up. There we go. Can't talk. So now that it's up in the air, it's a very stable airplane. Pretty windy out here in Central Florida today. Uh, we don't currently have a gyro in the model, but you could easily add one in if you want. Cruises along very nicely, very respectable. Roll it over. And it's fun, man. You can fly it like a fighter. Do a loop. Pretty cool. And I'm just chilling at half throttle. The airplane's very happy right there at that half throttle setting. All right, we're gonna come down to idle power. We're gonna glide it by here. Turn it in over those trees. We don't wanna hit them. That would be bad. Add the power back in, fly out. They said a beautiful day here in central Florida to be doing some flying. Let's go for the touch and go, Lori. This is this is a tight little pond we're playing in here. But I think we can do it. Cut it right around there. All right, a bounce and go. <laughs> Now we'll come around and we'll do a roll. Very maneuverable little plane, guys. Uh, it kind of high alphas too. You got to be kind of weird or careful with it as you're doing the high alpha though. Uh, with the way that propeller is, I'll show you here. We're going to turn it around, come into the wind and turn it into high alpha, but it can do some kind of goofy stuff in high alpha if you get it too steep. So we're going to turn it in, put that nose up. Look at the bird's trying to get me. And see, it kind of falls out there. But under no power, you can pretty much stall this thing straight in and just hold the nose up. Let's see if we can do it here. We're going to play We're going to play risky here. Here we go. We're going to turn it in. We're going to hold that nose up in the high alpha. No power. And it just glides by so slow. i got to come power back in. I'm not going to hit the water. But have a ball with it, you know? Like I said, fly it like a fighter if you want. Down in the trees. Fun, fun, fun little airplane. And if you really get it kind of slow when you do your loops, watch this. This is funny. Pull it over. <laughs> oh, and the birds are coming to get me. <laughs> There's like a hawk out here right now. He is not my friend. That's all right. We've about showed what we need to show here. Let's go on and try and bring this in for our landing. Shoot that gap. Hold it off. Skirt! Skirt! <laughs> Let that front end come down or it won't turn. <laughs> hey guys, that was a great flight of the Skynetic Dragonfly. As you can see, the plane comes out of the box with all these decals pre-applied on it. Uh, and it does not have any screws or gluing. It actually snaps together with 3M uh, adhesive tape. So if you haven't checked that out, we actually put this together on the channel a little while back. Uh, so feel free to check that out. 
Uh, the airplane is also equipped with a very economical power system in it. You know, a lot of guys already have these batteries. Uh, this is flying on our 2200 3S Admiral Pack. Uh, and actually, before I pull that out of there, uh, there's a shot. There is a battery line indicator in here. Now, if you're flying this on a 1500, you're gonna go to that battery line. But on a 2200, you're definitely gonna push it back a little bit further uh, to make CG on this airplane. Now, let me pull that out of there. And I've been setting on a 2200, uh, I've been setting my flight times to five minutes of useful throttle um, and been coming down more than above storage voltage. So uh, I'm at 400 a cell or 77%. So had tons and tons of uh, gas left in the tank to keep flying on that light. Now inside of the airplane, I actually have a Radtron receiver. You can use a car key or something to open this, but if you haven't checked out our Radtron receivers, you can put these in all of our smart or little small park airplanes. It'll work right with your Futaba receivers. Save a little money. These things have been bulletproof for me since I've been using them. But that tucks right there in top. Uh, the hatch is magnetic and has been keeping the water out just fine. I haven't flipped the airplane over or anything, but just driving it around out in the water, we haven't had any issues. One thing you will notice on this airplane is the motor is mounted up here on a pod. Now what you're going to see from that is if you're in a, a high angle attack and slow, uh, it will have a tendency to push the nose over on the airplane if you go to full throttle. So be wary of that when you're doing it. Now for my rates, I really like my ailerons at a lot lower rate. So here's full rates and I've cut them down to 60% and there is my two cuts. So there's 60% ailerons. And then as far as the elevator goes, I've been leaving that at full elevator, which is a ton of deflection, but it actually feels really good in the air. Now, I'll set it down for just a second and show you. I do have two rates to go to in case I want it to be smoother. So I have a 80% uh, cut and a 65% cut. And I kept my rudder at full, and you're gonna want it too to be able to drive around in the, in the water with this. So 100% rate on your rudder, but I did put me 25% expo in there just to soften it right in the middle all right guys that is the skynetic dragonfly i hope you've decided to get one of these check it out it is a blast and a great first seaplane if you haven't ever flown something off the water it's a completely different experience it opens a lot of other flying sites up you just have to find a really secluded area like this and you can go fly your airplane over the water and not have to worry too much uh, when you have an accident on the water it's a little more forgiving than land too so Anyway, guys, uh, whether it's land, sea, or air, Motion RC has what you want. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.